Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about the sacred heart of Jesus's rays of light that come from his heart. Okay. So the main reason why Jesus has light coming from his heart is because he is the light of the world. Okay. So he even said in the Bible, he says, I am the light of the world. And so that is why he has the light coming from his heart. There are several instances when we see that he is the light of the world. First of all, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there was the great light, the star that shone over Bethlehem to show the people that he was the light of the world and to lead the people to him. Okay, so that's the first instance that we see that. But then we also see in the transfiguration of Jesus. So when Jesus went up to the mountain with some of his apostles, uh, he was transformed before them and he shone like the light. I'm going to read you the part from the Bible that says that. It says, and he was transfigured before them and his face shone like the sun and his garments, what he was wearing, became white as the light. Okay, so we see his glory. We see um, his beauty in the transfiguration, he begins to reveal his glory, even though he's not yet ascended into heaven. He hasn't even yet died, but he's still God. And so we can see how great he is just by a little glimpse in the transfiguration of Jesus. We also um, remember that Jesus is the light of the world at the Easter vigil. So when the whole church is in darkness and they bring in this big candle and they light it in the back of the church and they gradually come into the church and all of the people light up all of their candles from one candle, we're reminded that Jesus is the light of the world and that we are supposed to spread that light to the world, okay, to everyone around us. And we're reminded of Jesus's light also in our baptism. So when we're baptized, we receive a candle that is lit from this Easter candle, okay? And so we can remember that Jesus is the light of the world when we are baptized, but then at each Easter vigil. Also, another instance of when we see Jesus um, as light is when Jesus appears to St. Paul, okay, before when he was Saul, and he knocked him to the ground and this great light came and he became blinded because he was blinded by by the goodness of jesus okay and so then he has to wait three days before he can regain his sight again right um, and then in the book of revelation the last book of the bible uh, we read again that jesus will be the only light okay that god will be the only light that we will need in heaven and that when the earth is gone there'll be no other light there'll be no sun there'll be no moon but that god will be the light okay and so i'm going to read that book that part of the book of revelation to you it says and the city has no need of sun or moon to shine upon it for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light shall the nations walk, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory into it. Okay, so God is the light, and he wants to, to be the light for all of us, okay? And so we have to be reminded that we also need to be the light of Jesus to other people, okay? So he wants to shine his light on us, but then he wants that light to grow, to continue to um, be spread to the hearts of others, okay? And so we ask Jesus to be the light of our life, um, and we ask him to always guide us in, in loving him and spreading his love to others.